What's up, YouTube? So, it's time for an update on the guppies. I'm focused on this male right here because he's actually been sick. Uh, I noticed about four days ago that he had some fin rot on the edges of his caudal fin. This was the larger of the two males. And there was like some reddish tinge. I don't really know what that is, but... <clears throat> I hit the tank with general cure and a dose of salt and uh, he seems to be okay the fin rot slowed dramatically from when I first noticed it it was like overnight he lost you can see right there how his caudal fins damaged and uh, he's lost a little tiny bit more since then but it's not accelerating as far as I can tell and it seems to be slowing down so I'm just going to keep doing, you know, water changes obviously, you always got to do that if you got an ill fish. And <clears throat> if I see any more signs of fin rot, I might go out and get an antibiotic and try that. Yeah, my toddler agrees that I should try that, you can hear in the background. There's the other male, he's growing, he's looking good. The other thing, the other thing I should say is none of the other fish in the tank look sick at all. The females are putting on a ton of size and color. This younger male, his caudal fin's getting bigger. He's getting some more shimmer on his back. It's pretty cool. The females, their fins are darkening up, filling out. And actually, I have a single fry somewhere in this tank. Oh, you can probably hear my daughter saying, mmm, tastes good, she's eating a pickle. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can see the fry. I'm scanning. That's why I'm scanning the substrate. There's literally a single fry, and it's the tiniest fry I've ever seen in all my time keeping guppies. When I first saw it a few days ago, I thought I imagined it because I couldn't find it again. And I was like, it must have just been... There it is. See it? Along the background, right in the center of the frame. This is big. Yeah. Oh, there it goes, down hiding in the substrate again, right there in the center of the frame. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Robert is right there. Yep, it's right there. Can you see it? Where'd it go? There it go. Where's the baby go? Where'd the baby go? I don't know. Anyway, it was on camera for a second. Hopefully you guys saw it. Whoa, glare! You gotta stay close to the glass. Or else we're gonna get ridiculous glare from this white table. I need to get a black tablecloth or something. Anyway, we got a single fry. What I think happened was, as I mentioned when I first got these, that the females were very, very small and very young for breeding. I think it's this one who's given birth, actually. Because I don't know if you can see very well with the glare and the focus. But she's essentially got a flat belly now. Whereas all these other females still look gravid to me. They got the big round bellies. They have the bigger uh, gravid spots. Whereas she, right there, is totally flat. So I think what happened was that since these guys aren't really big enough to uh, breed pro or like mate, whatever, not breed and mate, what is the word I want, give birth properly or gestate, gestate properly because they're too small, too young, I think that she only basically had room to gestate one fry and then she just popped out one fry and was done because she's so tiny. Whereas normally they pop out anywhere from, I don't know, I've seen like, I've seen them pop out 20 at a time sometimes, some of the bigger guppies, it just depends, but. Uh, so yeah, we have one fry, which is awesome. It's from the, fe I suspect it's from the female with the humongous dorsal fin also, that like goes back to the tip of her caudal, so that's awesome, because that means her babies are gonna be tight on the finnage. I think that one might be the best looking one, I don't know. See how they're getting that shimmer on their flanks? And the, the, the fins are really coloring in and getting bigger. We'll see. Give them a few months. I think by 
you know, September or October, they're going to be looking awesome. And by then I should have enough younger fish to start selling to you guys. So that's pretty much the update on the guppy tank. I guess I can talk about the pothos real quick. Let me get up. Sitting on the floor. All right. So, oh, the ram's horns are doing well. They're growing as well. The pothos is going crazy with the roots. You can see they're just putting out tons of new rootlets. Over here, there was that big piece extending down this way. I cut it off because it was growing tons of mold and rotting and it wasn't putting out any new roots. So I assume that, you know, it needed to go. Another thing is the algae is obviously like completely out of control but the snails are working on it. I figure given enough time and with the pothos putting out new leaves there, new leaves there, new leaves there, new leaves there, and that, if I can focus, between all that, the tank will balance out hopefully and the algae will be greatly reduced. If not, I'll buy a bunch of neurites, throw them in there. Alright, I think that's it for the update. Tank's doing pretty well, despite the, the ill fish. I think he's gonna pull through. We got a baby. Everybody else looks good. So, thanks for watching guys. If you like the content, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. See you next time.